Hi everyone, today is the day. I'm going to introduce you to another new feature of Aluxon Config with the beta 13.2 version. This feature helps you and your customers to cut down on energy costs even more. So let's talk about our newest function block, the Spot Price Optimizer. Here in Europe, we can see a clear trend. More and more electricity providers are offering tariffs with dynamic hourly electricity prices. These electricity prices are negotiated on the stock exchange. Each day, this starts at 2 p.m. and continues for the next 24 hours in one hour increments. Do you feel like the Wolf of Wall Street already? Now, this means that electricity prices fluctuate extremely, depending on the time of day. However, when our price is particularly low, with a variable tariff, the price is determined depending on the demand and need. If the electricity supply is higher than the demand, the price could technically even go negative. But who actually benefits from dynamic electricity prices? In a nutshell, everyone who is flexible enough to use energy when it's cheapest. This way, electricity costs can be reduced massively. Talking about our config, how can we take all developments of electricity prices into account? First, you need information on the current and the future electricity price. Many providers that use dynamic electricity prices provide an API for transmitting their prices. You can find a list of all supported providers, including the template in our blog post. In the following example, I'm integrating the electricity prices via the API of a provider called Avatar. Now, let's add the new spot price optimizer function block. First, the data type must be set in the properties of the function block. You should set this depending on whether the electricity prices are transmitted by the API in relative or absolute terms. In my example, I work with an absolute value, and now I connect them to the inputs of the block. The new function block offers two options. On the one hand, consumers can be activated automatically exactly in those hours when the electricity price is lowest. To do this, first define the two parameters, period and demand within the function block. Period is the period in which the cheapest electricity prices are to be determined, and demand corresponds to the activation period in hours. If the trigger input of the function block is now activated, it activates the output in this example for the two cheapest hours within the next 12 hours. How does this look in real life? Let's look at the electricity price trend on November 28th, 2022. My colleague Armin owns a new plug-in hybrid, but no PV system. His car needs two hours to be fully charged. If the vehicle is plugged into the wall box at 6 p.m. after work, the vehicle would charge at the general fixed price, which is typically high. If my colleague would use our new spot price optimizer, his car does not start charging at 6 p.m., but in our example, the function block determines the two cheapest hours within the next 12 hours. So the charging of Armin's car is activated from 3 to 5 a.m. Here, we're talking about a cost savings of over 70%. The outputs offer another possibility to take dynamic electricity prices into account with this new function block. These outputs are very high, high, low, and very low. After activating the trigger input, the block determines how the electricity prices develop in the specific period, then activates the four outputs. For instance, if the electricity price is currently very high, load-intensive consumers can be deactivated during this period. In addition, the function block provides additional information such as the maximum or minimum and average electricity price. This information can be used, for example, to implement statistics or other individual logic. The spot price optimizer function block is now available for testing in the new public beta of our Luxone Config 13.2. Since you can configure looks on config and the function block freely based on your needs, you can make your customers' billings even more efficient and reduce electricity costs. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. We would really appreciate it. And if you don't want to miss any of our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time.